Howdy my friends, and welcome back to more Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Another episode where, yes, Sky Hurricane 89 screwed up once again. Uh, not too bad, not near as bad as last time. Uh, I actually, uh, I was record. I thought I was recording, and I ended up doing, I ended up buying an Altezza 280T. Um, and I tuned it up. Got like the weight, redu all the weight reductions, racing tires. And uh, I toned it up to 312 horsepower. I had 266. I didn't put a turbo kit or anything on it. And uh, you can see the information here. But I, and you can pause that if you wanted to read it. But I uh, didn't even push the record button. So yay, yay, Sky, for utterly failing once again. But at least not too bad. But yeah, this is a beautiful car. And uh, I was going to do the Luxury Sedan Cup. And I did the first race. And uh, wow, weight reduction actually lowered it 300 pounds. That was cool. That was one thing I wanted to check into, but I forgot when I thought I was recording. But uh, <laughs> I did the first race here, and just you know, just might, why, might as well do it again. I mean, we can win another car or two. But uh, and I can show you the settings I did. You can see I didn't put brakes on it, but. All these things here I equipped. Didn't do these things. Did intercooler and muffler air filter. So you can see all those things. And here's what I did with the uh, suspension settings. So lowered the damper, bound, and increased the gears a little bit, made them a little wider. All that good stuff. So sky, sky, sky. What in the world? What in the world was I doing? Anyway, it's all right. We're going right now. We're getting somewhere. We got a Dodge and Trippet and a Ford Taurus show. Probably. I actually, uh, is that an Alfa Romeo beside me? I actually had a Ford Taurus, and it was a very good car. I gotta say, um. My sister also, she had a Dodge Intrepid that was similar to that color. But it was uh, had a little less red in it and more blue. It was similar to that color. But uh, my Taurus was a really good car until I wrecked it. And then I ended up getting the Nissan Altima that I drove for like four years before I got my Subaru Impreza that I currently drive. And uh, all three of those were really good cars. That Taurus was good until I wrecked it. Stupidly, that was my fault. But uh, that was the only rig that I've actually had, though, except for when I hit my hit that deer with my Subaru, <laughs> uh, the very year that I got it, which was almost two years ago. Yeah, almost two years ago. But uh, yeah, the for some reason I've never really been a big Dodge fan, and. Uh, and sure enough, the Dodge Intrepid that my sister had, she didn't have it very long. Uh, it gave her a lot of problems. And in all honesty, you don't see very many Dodge Intrepids or Dodge Neons. You don't see many of those cars. Uh, for some reason, Dodge is just... Uh, I don't think they're really known for their longevity. Except for perhaps the Dodge Realm. I believe those are pretty good trucks. Correct me if I'm wrong, you know. But... Uh, I think those are probably pretty good. Wow, and I'm totally annihilating the opposition here. I don't know why. Is it because the Dodge Trepid is in front? Because <laughs> when I did this the first time, I didn't kill them quite this badly, but there's a Mercedes Benz uh, C Class that was in front, that was in second place. Yeah, that Intrepid didn't last long before it started giving her problems. And you really don't see many Intrepids or Neons on the road. I mean, I mean you, you actually see a lot of uh, older model Taur Tauruses left. You know, like 90s model Tauruses. You even see more of those than you do uh, Dodge Intrepids. I don't know if it's from the fact that maybe more were made or what, but... I just don't know. I love this car, though, and uh, believe it or not, probably my favorite car in the game would be the 
Altezza El Medition, which is not a car that you can buy, but you can win it from an endurance racing. And that's uh, definitely one that I'll have to win. No, you shouldn't cover things, but oh, it's so awesome. It's just such a good handling car, and you know, it's it's just such a good handling car. All oh, the Taurus were second, that's why they were all held up. The Drapid was fifth. The Alpha 166 actually went up the third. The BMW was last, really. Four door Skyline was fourth. That's a pretty nice car. Four door Skyline. GTR has the power to boot, too. Pretty cool. Their big old heavy four door luxury sedans. Although I'm not sure you call the Taurus or the Intrepid a luxury sedan. I guess for Ford or a Dodge's sake, maybe you could. But the BMW definitely is. And even the Le the Altezza, which is like a... It was sold as the Lexus in the United States. Yeah, pretty nice. Alrighty, let's do that second race. I was a little bit overpowered for that one, but I shouldn't be as overpowered for the next race. I wouldn't think. But we'll see. Man, I can't believe I was that stupid and thought I was recording and was not. And then I, after finishing that race, I looked over and uh, I was like... I was uh, wondering why the time on my Elgato was not consistent with my time on audacity and i was like oh crap and then i looked the red light the uh, yellow light was not on that i wasn't indicating that i wasn't recording but special stage route 5 493 horsepower this one should be a little more interesting i think i really didn't tone this car up very much so i uh, shouldn't be killing them this badly Hopefully they'll put up more of a fight in this race. We can only hope, eh? They're giving me a Dodge Intrepid again. By the way, the Dodge Intrepid and uh, the Mercury Cougar, I may have already mentioned this, but those are actually a couple front wheel drive cars that really tune up significantly in this game. Both of them will get over 500 horsepower, I believe. Which is quite a lot for a front wheel drive car. And y'all are, why are y'all taking such a silly line? I mean, I know I'm not the best at this game by any means. I'm not even close, but, uh, I mean, to me, that just doesn't look like a good line. And I'm already pulling away. Intensively. This is like going to be a repeat of last race. Of course, I am a lot better with this track than Rome. I wouldn't say a lot better, but I have raced on this track many more times. You know, it being in all the Gran Turismo's. This car has really good stability. I mean, you have to really be driving dangerously with it for it to spin out. But, it, you know, it doesn't really understeer either, so it's like the perfect balance. We are just, wow. I totally expected this to be a harder race. <laughs> I don't know if they tuned their cars any further than from the last race. Which I don't know why they wouldn't have, you know. Wow, I'm taking that same crazy line that they took. <laughs> oh, well, it works, I guess. This music in this game is just so silly. Never really liked the music in this game. No offense, you know, to the creators, but uh, just never was a big fan of it. 
Except for the regular game music. Not the race music, but the game music's okay. I thought it was pretty fitting, but... Like, I like all the manufacturer soundtracks and stuff. And the race music, meh. Whoa, okay. So much for me saying, oh, this car does not spin out. Because I completely uh, screw up and then they completely catch up to me. Well, almost. I would have had to screw up a little worse than that. <laughs> Golly, man, they were terrible. Be funny, my first lap probably be better than my second one. <laughs> Definitely cleaner. The Taurus was second again. What in the world? Toyota Aristo. Now that's another car that. Similar to the Altezza, except a little heavier, I think. Audi S4. There's that Mercedes Benz that I burst last, last time. The Aristo really went down a few notches, didn't it? Well. Hmm. We have one more race, and I was going to use the uh, Chrysler Phaeton, but. My goodness, this seems overpowered enough. Of course, the Phaeton is a lot heavier. Not a lot heavier, but... Hmm. I really didn't show that car off very much, so I think I will go ahead and use it anyway. Despite it being a little bit overpowered. But I can unequip some of the parts. But I think I did put just about everything on it. But let's go ahead and see what we won. Accord Type R. They're both the same exact color, it seems. You know, this might be one that I can put the racing modification on, so I might want to keep this. Yep, same color. Well, no need in having two of them, is it? So I'm going to keep one of them regardless. So let's go ahead and put that with our Hondas. Where's our Hondas? I don't have many Hondas. There we go. And... The Chaser TRD Sports. This has the exact same amount of horsepower that my Altitza has. Hmm. I actually really do like this. I don't think I can really use it for anything, but... Uh, I mean, I could use it for stuff, but I know for any of the manufacturer races, I could. I'm going to keep it for now, but I probably will have to eventually par with it. And there we go. Alrighty. Oh, no, no, no. I needed to change. Oh, Why to fail, Sky? Okay, where's the fight on? There it is. It's a big old heavy car, man. Oh my goodness. Which, uh, yeah, I think I will lower the power a little bit. 3,100 pounds. Pretty heavy. The luxury sedans are supposed to be, I suppose. Way to pass it, guy. Way to pass it. Five hundred and ninety one horsepower. Exactly the limit. This thing really uh, doesn't have the best hand handling uh and as I kinda mentioned during the Seattle race, this thing has a big tendency to want to spin out. Uh, I need to do the change gears thing or not change gears, but uh I didn't really put much on this. That's going to lower us to, whoa, it says 600, but I don't think it's really 600. So that's going to be 577. Port and polish, I can't undo that. So I really didn't uh, do very much to this car. You say everything's normal already. Now it says 523, so. Weight reduction's already done, so.
I'm going to lower that. All right, let's do this now. Maybe we won't be too insanely overpowered. I think this does start out with over 500 horsepower, though, with no tuning at all. Has a big, massive V12 engine in it. Super awesome. Yeah, still, it has, to be so heavy, it has some pretty decent acceleration. You know, pretty reasonable, and, uh, this thing will, uh, definitely be eager to oversteer. <laughs> a big old fighting. Yeah, this seems like it's gonna be more of an even race, and, oh, man, already about spinning out. How wonderful. What is that car there? Another Skyline? Yeah, that's why I had the damper all the way down lowered to the minimum, because uh, otherwise this car would be uncontrollable. Especially on those really steeply banked corners. Oh wow, we're actually pulling away. What the heck? How fast will this thing go? I think we only got like the 140 in the Seattle circuit. Pretty good on that curve. Good job, Phaeton. Yeah, once you get the right uh, suspension settings and everything on this car, it's not really that bad. It really isn't. I wonder if I would have done better with Altezza. Now if I put a little more toning into it, I would, surely. <laughs> this car just looks so ridiculous, though. I'm mean, making it. It looks like it has a big touch of a uh, historic, you know, historic car into it. I mean, I like it in a way, though. Those skylines were exactly the same. Mercedes been exactly the same cars. They didn't put any different cars. But all of those would tune up to around 550 horsepower or more. So. Sure. I remember my first playthrough of this game years and years ago when I was a kid. The Audi S4 was one of the first cars I ever tried, and I really liked it. I really did like it. You know, it's a really good, easy handling car, you know, that you don't have to do too much to. Both of those skylines are the same color. Why did they do that? Same car, same color. Where's the creativity? <laughs> My goodness. Silly, silly, silly. That does do for the Luxury Sedan Cup, though. We can see what our next car is that we won. We'll probably be going below a million credits pretty soon, I gotta say. Probably should sell that uh, Chaser TRD, because I don't think I'll be using it. It's not really in my plans to use but I will might as well keep it. Oh cool, the GTR four door. But I honestly don't think Hmm, I could use this for something. I could use it for the trial mountain endurance race. Man, it is heavy though. It's actually heavier than that Phaeton. Wow, it's heavier than the fight. It might not be, though, if you did all the weight reductions and stuff. Actually, has the information. You can read this if you wish. You can pause it. Yeah, similar to the Nismo 400R. 
but uh, quite significantly less power than the $400 has. I am going to go ahead and sell this one, and uh, I think I'm going to sell that chaser too. I can always win them back if I want to. And you never know what, as crazy as I am, I may very well decide to do that. Oh no, I might, I might keep this one. Heck, it is lighter than the GTR. I think I will keep it while heading on. Well, in the next part, y'all, I think we will take on the next one down the line, which would be the uh, convertible car world. So, I do hope to see y'all there. Let's look at the uh, yeah, 246 horsepower is the lowest one. So, what in the world will we choose? Another one way to find out. Hope y'all have a super awesome, blessed day. And uh, this is Skyhurricane 9 signing out. As always, my friends, stay awesome. Goodbye, y'all.